Hello there everyone, welcome back to a brand new podcast episode Today I am going to do a very special video Because today I'm on the official website from Doctor Who Which is called DoctorWho.tv And today I'm going to find out which of these doctors are you Are you a chipper? Are you a moody? Are you a carefree? Uh, or are you calm and cal- calculated? Okay, sorry, my English there was a bit funky But hey, it doesn't matter So, find out which doctor you resemble the most Get started Absolutely, Alonzi. How do you generally like to make an entrance with a big smile and a friendly wink, chatting away as friendly as possible, quietly? I try not to draw attention to myself as loud as possible by pointing pointing out how rubbish everyone else is in the room. Uh, yeah, that's a friendly wink, bro. I don't do that, but I do have like a big smile, chatting away as friendly as possible. I, uh, I guess, big smile like your general badge and. Uh, uh, highs on the channel, like mostly just guys who have like smiles, but like natural high smiles. I mean, it's a thing in Belgium. Anyway, let's do this, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Next. Yeah. There we go. Uh, how do you deal with your mistakes? You quickly move on. They haunt you and define you. You constantly question your actions. You embrace them. You take time to sit down and think them through. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Or direct when you're angry. Uh, internally, ne- you rarely let <laughs> anger out. Or let's let's put it that way. Uh, belittle it as most things make you cross. Speak slowly and clearly explain why you're angry. Shout loudly, barely let it show. I guess this one is uh, speak slowly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you describe your dress sense? <laughs> like I've raided a charity shop, uh, as though I'm a university professor. Casual. Uh, so much, you barely see me out of it. Yeah, casual, I guess, whatever. Uh, how would you describe yourself? Fantastic. Mad. The only sane one in the room. Brilliant. Don't know yet. <laughs> I'll let you know. Um, I guess pretty fantastic. Uh, yeah, what's your favorite food? Fish fingers and custard. Chips. Uh, jelly babies, custard cream, a banana. Bruh, come on. Uh, between these, let's see. I guess chips, why not, right? Or crisps. Let's, let's call them like that because they, 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 they speak British, in it, in Doctor Who. Like crisp, in it, very nice. Anyway, which historical figure would you most, uh, uh, okay, would you most like to meet? I guess a Christie Hell, no, no. Rosa Parks, mm, interesting. Charles Dickens, interesting. Robin Hood, Richard Nixon. Uh, <laughs> I guess Robin Hood, yeah, he's cool, he's cool. Uh, if you had to work in one of these a university, a school, or a real TV show, a distribution warehouse, a toy shop, ooh, a toy shop, that's, yeah, 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 I guess that one, yeah, yeah, with all the Lego, come on, man, where would you most like to go on a holiday, 18th century Versailles, ooh, with Madame de Popinot, right, yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she's hot. Uh, anyway, Victoria, London, Britain and World War Two. You know, that's not great. Second century, Scotland. Uh, Sheffield last week. Oh, that's interesting. Last two ones. I mean, Scotland. Oh, boy. I mean, sh- Scottish lads, ladies. No, uh, yeah. Uh, wait, what's, what's the... Yeah, I guess the female version for lads is ladies, right? Yeah. Or... or, or uh, you damsels, oh, eh? Scottish damsels, in it, bruv? <laughs> okay, okay, my bad. Uh, Shafit last week, yeah. Uh, how would you describe your room? Sorry, okay, I, I'll need to stop there because of my previous answer. You know, let's just ignore the Scotland part. <coughs> anyway, how would you describe your room? Oh my god, I'm going to have like an insane, uh, funny, funny moment there, or just laugh entirely. Okay. Calm. Oh, I've got this. I've got this. Okay. How would you describe your room? Cave-like, madcap, everything strewn all over the place, clean and ordered, cringy with something grown in the corner, clean and ordered. Oh, absolutely. Yikes. Okay. So I'll I'll do this. Signing up to the Doctor Who newsletter. Uh. Yeah. Whatever. Let's go. Okay. So my answer is the ninth Doctor. Fantastic. Um. So I guess. Yeah. Sure. I uh, yeah. I saw this coming. Haunted by being the last survivor of the time war, or sh- so he believed the ninth doctor was of this 
bombastic as some of his later incarnations, adapting a more casual wardrobe uh, okay, than his predecessors, he preferred to slide into a situation unnoticed. He rarely left his rage out, only losing it at what he thought was the loss of the Daleks. Instead, his anger always pushed him forward, seeking out solutions and fueling his desire to right wrongs. Uh, his travels took him from going for chips after the end of the world uh, of the world to reality TV show in the far future, right? With pit stops in Victorian Cardiff with Charles Dickens and London during the Blitz. Right, I'm not quite sure w which different answers there are, uh, but hey, Night Doctor, <laughs> I'll take it. So right, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And oh god, I need to sneeze. No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, my bad. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you just feel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we'll see you later. Goodbye, everyone. Or should I say, you were absolutely fantastic.